Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now today, the CS for Agriculture Peter Munya was somewhere in Meru at a market center trying to sell Azimio agenda to the public. But again, it has emerged that there is a video that has been largely shared on social media, especially from the Kenya Kwanza bloggers trying to show how Peter Munya was heckled and stopped by those people in that market from selling the Azimio agenda to them. <clears throat> and therefore, I wanted to watch this video very shortly. It's just some few second video. But at the end, we want to understand if this event was stage managed or not. And again, to understand why Peter Munya being heckled in his own home ground. <laughs> Now we are continuing with our panel discussion, but just a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you're not yet subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing so that another time, once you release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and anyone who drop a comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our videos to more viewers. Back to our discussion. Now, for those who have been following Peter Munya closely, you are going to appreciate that Peter Munya has been playing a critical role around Mother Karua in her campaign, especially in Mount Kenya region, east and west at large. Peter Munya has been around Mother Karua. Almost in every rally, Karua has gone to. And that means... Peter Munya was trying to reunite the people of Mount Kenya East together the people of Mount Kenya West where Mother Karua comes from. So that has been the kind of game Azmio has been using this tool to sell the agenda of Raila Molo Dinga to the people of Mount Kenya region. The people have been listening to this too. And if you look at those rallies, Peter Munya and Mother Karua has been performing very well. So, those people from the other side have realized that Peter Munya is doing a good job around Mother Karua. And therefore, Peter Munya became a marked man. They have marked Peter Munya. So that is their target as of now. Trying to stop the influence these two have been making in Mount Kenya region. <clears throat> Under the same way, they were trying to plant the heckling and the blocking of Mother Karua from the time when she was beginning her campaign. It's the same thing and the strategy they are transferring now to Peter Moya. Because if you look at this event, this thing was stage managed. Look at those women. They are uniformly talking about uh, UDA William Ruto. This was simply stage managed because Peter Muna is a targeted man. And even look at what Dennis Itumbi is saying here. <laughs> Just to understand this one, really, it was a stage managed event. Niku, Nikubu, Nikubu, this area is called Nikubu, Meru County. Munya went to the market with the deep state biased media and ODM message. <laughs> Hustler Nation told him it is Mamamboga moment with our God. 
hustler nation. So you see, this tells you that there was someone on the ground who knew that Peter Munya is coming at that place. Remember, look, uh, Ruto is looking on how UDA should win the Meru County gubernatorial seat, Senate seat, and all those elective seats. And so, through Mithika Linturi, who is the current senator and now vying for the governor of Meru, by sending defeat, they are the people on the ground trying to organize the heckling of Peter Munya. And by the way, if you see someone is somewhere busy trying to stop you by trying to organize some youth and women to heckle you in public, it means that person fears you. Secondly, that means you are making influence. That means you are outshining that person. That's why they will opt for a, such kind of disruption just to try and stop you. So the incident we are witnessing in Meru County is a clear indication that definitely Azmio is penetrating to Meru. And these are a clear signs of panic from the Kenya Kwanza side. On the developing story in Meru, we understand how Ruto should change the people of Meru community and Mbera. This time around, Mount Kenya East was supposed to produce a running net, especially from William Samantha's side. Kidura Kindiki was the man. But Ruto should change the Kidura Kindiki. So you understand that once he gets to Meru and uh, Tarakanith, he is not much more welcomed the way they were welcoming him. The ground is not with William Ruto. Because they still remember what Ruto has done to one of their own. Because of this, hostility can be there against Kenya Kwanza. And to try and downplay that, you stage manage people to help call uh, Peter Munya so that it will be seen that Azmio is not welcomed and the ground is good, ready for Kenya Kwanza. So in my view, this was just a sign of panic from Mithika Linturi, William Ruto supporters. And that's why they are busy sharing this because, of course, <laughs> even if you look at the video, really, it was just stage managed, well organized for that kind of heckling. And why is it that the people who are heckling here are the Mamamboga in that market center? <clears throat> That means we're paid to do so. And a challenge to Dennis Itumbi here, when you say that Hustler Nation is all about Mamamboga, at least if you look at Raila Molo Dinga formation, Utaona Mother Karua Kopale, Charity Ngilu is there. But tell me any woman on William Samai Ruto side is in that top management. Kwanzia Hapo Jumpaka Chini, it is William Ruto, Rikazi Vega Shagwa, Musalia Mudavadi, Senator Wetangula, Ivo. No woman there. So if you want to talk about women, a person who understands the need from the need of women, then it is Raila, not them. Because they did not embrace woman leadership. How can you embrace the woman in the market you don't know, when you do not embrace one of their own on your top leadership as a fellas. That's a challenge I'm putting to them. So, the clear indication here is that they are trying to stop Peter Munya because Peter Munya is making influence in Mount Kenya region. Let me ask you a simple question here. Because if Peter Munya was not that much influential, who could waste his time to go and organize for his heckling, or the people would be people, people in that market bother to heckle him, if really he don't make influence, it means everyone will avoid listening to him and go about their business. 
But because he is influencing and planting a sense of direction on how election is going to be voted in August as far as Meru and Tarakanita is concerned. That's why the panicked side is in their plan to try and stop Peter Monia. That's my view. I don't know what to think about this, but we can meet in the comment section to have a continuation of this conversation. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening to me after this far. May good God bless you and see you in our next video.